Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm doing maintenance on an almost brand new Aaron snowblower. And what I want to show you today is a very important thing to do. It's just basic maintenance that will save you hundreds of dollars in the future. And you should do this immediately, even though your machine is brand new. Take that clip off, the wheel will come off. Just slide it out. Now be aware that there is a key here that goes between the wheel and the drive shaft. Now in the past I showed you guys to make sure you put anti-seize on the drive shaft when you put the wheels back on. But in this video I'm going to go a little bit further and that is to remove the small e-clip right here. You can just put a screwdriver or scrunch like this and just pry it off. This is the clip that's going to come off of there. Now once you get that clip off, this shaft here will come out. Just like that. And what you want to do at this point, once you have it off like that, is to put some grease over here, but also some anti-seize here. Because what can happen, as you see here, there's a bit of rust forming already. If you don't put anti-seize here, what may happen in the winter, when it gets really cold and the rust builds up in there, is that your differential may not work. So the differential allows you to move your machine from left to right with no exertion. And basically it works on the principle of having a shaft over another one so that it can move on it just like that. But if you don't have grease in here or anti-seize, this shaft here will seize on that shaft and then your differential won't work. And by the way, this shaft here goes right inside this part here, which is basically the differential. So now I'm using some anti-seize and I will apply it generously all over that shaft. And I'm also going to put some low temp grease in there. This will prevent the bushing here from getting worn out. So what I do here is I mix a bit of the grease with the anti-seize because you can't really use the anti-seize as lubricant. It's not lubricant, but I put a bit of grease so that when the other shaft turns on here like this, it's also getting lubrication, but at the same time it won't seize. And I also put a lot of anti-seize right on the splines here just so that they don't seize inside the other parts. Now when you go to push this back in, you may have to move this washer here, just so the shaft can go in. I'm actually holding the camera with one hand here, so it makes it a bit harder. There. So now it's back in. And you know it's in far enough when you see the groove here for the clip. And now you can just push that clip back in. It's really easy to get in there. Now you might want to wear gloves when you do this, like some kind of latex or nitrile gloves, because that anti-seize will stick all over your hands. And then what I recommend is a bit of low temp grease right here. And that's to grease the shaft and the bushing here. And when you push that washer, it will push the grease in. And then what I recommend on here, which I've done in many other videos, is to put a liberal coat of anti-seize all around that shaft. This will prevent your wheels from seizing on the shaft. And don't forget to put the key, because if you don't put the key back, that wheel here will not have any traction. And now what you want to do when you put the wheel back on is line this up with the key on the shaft. Now if you go to put the clip back on and the shaft is in like this and you can't get the clip in, just go on the other side and just push. And now there's lots of room to get that clip back on. So that's my advice for today guys. Make sure to do that if you have a brand new Aaron snowblower. For that matter, any machine you buy, take the wheels off, 
grease them, put anti-season, put them back on. Thanks for watching and have a great day.